All right, it's been three months and we are going to uh, give you a little tour of our 200 MK. Let me, just, let me back up a second. This is a Grand Design Transcend 200 MK. And uh, like I said, we've had it for about three months and I think we know everything now. We're ex experts, right? Uh, we'll start at the front. You've got the standard LCI electric jack, which not only goes up, but also goes down. What? So you've got uh, also standard on all of your, uh, your transcend line. You've got the two covered LP tanks, seven pin cable, and one battery. And that's standard. I've seen a lot of people that, that add a battery as well. You can see we've got our sway bar weight um, distribution system. Ours is the E2 um, set up there. One of the things I want to point out, we did a modification here, was um, putting this on a separate. When it comes, it comes intertwined into the chains. What is that? This is the emergency brakes for the, for the camper. And we hook this directly to the truck, separate of the chains. That way... If the chains mess up, this pulls the brake. One thing also to note is this is a single point chain system, so both chains are on one single point, so no need to crawl or anything. Just standard uh, standard hookups on that. So here we got a storage pass through that goes all the way through the front. Excuse some of the mess, but uh, this is the stuff we keep standard in here. <laughs> um, like it's a good good bit yeah. of room. It does come with uh, built-in motion detector lights. We, we replaced these locks with the uh, ones we bought from Lowe's, so they weren't the same as every other trailer. Here you've got your water tank gravity feed. So you can uh, pour water right into your uh, water tank. So the awning is a lippert, and it, uh, it's got a good distance out from the trailer. Uh, I like that, and it covers most of the trailer. Uh, in order to pull one side down when it's raining, like right now, which I, I'm gonna pull it towards you. So watch that. You just pull down on it, and it auto adjusts when you hit the switch inside. That'll auto adjust and then correct itself. I don't need to do anything to that. The stairs are one of the things that we do not like about it. They are on this. This system where it kind of glides along this track here. I say glides, but you have to wrestle it back in place every time. So um, this is one of the negative points that we do not like about it is the is the stairs. And also they're kind of a little wobbly. Um, so when Blaze the dog comes down, they just he doesn't like it too much, but he gets used to it. We got the tires. Of course, uh, most trailers come with them, but we also have the TPMS system that we installed uh, aftermarket don't forget your chocks uh here you've got a spot where you can hook up an outdoor tv so that um 75 ohm input there connects to whatever is playing on your other tv so if you've got a dvd playing inside it pulls that if you've got a antenna cable whatever connected to the input that pulls there and it also of course it's got the um 110 power with the G, G, GFCI plug here. So the Grand Design models, a lot of them come with the LEDs going across the edge of the of the awning there, which is a lot nicer. I like that. We've got, we've got some LEDs up. we got two speakers. Bam and bam. This little guy here is a vent for the oven. So when we use the oven or the stove, when we're venting it out, you got to open a little flap up inside here. A little reminder and of course we leave it closed most of the time and you got your hot water heater access so we keep this off but um it's one of our items on our startup checklist is to come here and flip the little switch in here to start and looks like we got some hands look at that so this is a uh, nice handy thing to have a pre-installed ladder comes standard on the 200 mk you can get to the roof, you can uh, do inspections. We like to sweep off the slide, so I climb, I climb up here before we leave, sweep the slide off, make sure no leaves and dirt get into the uh, slide mechanisms. There is a 250 pound weight limit on this, so I can't gain any more weight. 
furnace outputs, these do get hot. Do not stick your tongue on that. And it comes pre-installed for a Furion backup camera. Now we had to purchase the camera separately, but it was so simple to hook up because it was pre-installed and pre-wired. So it also has the handy dandy pull out thing for this, but our hose doesn't fit in there. So I'm not sure if you have a, a Transcend that has the same problem and you're, or a 200 MK and you want to know, let me know what hose to get to get that fits in there because I can't get mine to throw it in there. So the, the 200 MK does run on 30 amp power. It means we have one air conditioner and a simple switch flip up, screw in piece. Beautiful. Uh, this is the flush out for the black water tank. Connect a hose there. Oh, and down here we got gray tank on the right, black tank on the left, and one output. So there's one, one gray tank here and one black tank, and I believe they're about 39 gallons each. So it also comes with the manual jacks, which we use a, a drill for. This is a slide out because it slides out. And coming around, this is the other side of the pass-through storage. And this is where you got your hookups. I kinda like this. So that's it for the outside. Let's go inside and uh, Cheryl's gonna show us what it's about. You got um, storage over here, cabinet space. We added a motion sensor light to the closet here. You got some a cubby under here and there are plugs right here. You have a USB plug and your 110 plug here. This turns on the, the light for the bedroom area. Plenty of storage at the top. We usually put the soft bins up there. It comes with the queen size bed and like most campers, the mattress is pretty horrible. So we added a four inch topper um, memory foam and that works pretty good for us. Another closet on the left side. Same know, storage. <laughs> and uh, the divider right. curtain that comes around. Oh, yep, the here, Cheryl. So do the divider curtain again. Oh, so the divider curtain, you can just pull close if you need a little privacy. Over here's the dinette, and that of course breaks down into a bed. Uh, you have the storage under here, and you can access it through the uh, seating area as well. Nice big window back here. But it does face the campsite beside you instead of your, your campsite. Directly across from the dinette is the television. Perfect view, view it, perfect viewing from the dinette area, but it also pulls out and spins around if you're wanting to watch television in bed. Cool. Lots of counter space. You have the single basin sink, the pull down sprayer, the Furon oven with the glass top, so you have more space, workspace. And it has the three burners. I think it's Furion. The Furion oven. <laughs> Could probably cook a pizza in there. <laughs> we have not tried that yet. Uh, the Furion microwave, um, just a standard microwave, not a convection oven. There's some space out at the top of this that we haven't figured out what we're going to do with it yet. And then tons more storage back here that goes all the way back. Which that storage kind of awkward to get to, right? Yeah. This <laughs> space right here is really good if you have an air fryer or you want to get your coffee maker out of the way or something. So, and what's that behind you? This is a refrigerator. <laughs> and it's not a bad size for this length of a camper, for this size of a camper. One thing I want to point out is the, the quality of the cabinets and the grand designs. I mean, these are, you know, thick... They're weighty. The hardware, as you can see, if I can get around there, is quality. It's it's solid. When you have been in other campers and you open the cabinet doors, they um, they feel flimsy. The they don't they don't catch right. These are solid you know, glass door cabinets. Really nice. It's real nice, Clark. Real nice. <laughs> oh wait. <laughs> so this is the shower, and as you can see. It's got some extra space right here if you're taller. And how tall are you? I'm 5'5". Five five. 
So if you're a tall person, you may have a little tight squeeze yeah. here. <laughs> Luckily, we're shower both is, not. You, I have enough room to take a shower in here. Um, there's not a whole lot of space in here, but it's for, like I said, for this size camper, it's pretty good. Has the squeegee shower door that connects it in here. You have the medicine cabinet, um, the places for towels and other things, uh, a door down here. There's just a little bit of storage down here. And I believe this is a porcelain paint, a porcelain um, toilet. It is. So if you're looking for a um, something in the in the little over 20 foot range, I think the inside of this or nose to tail is 22, and then with the trailer tongue and all that is 25 foot. Nice, easy to pull. Um, this is the kind of the opening line for for grand designs. The dry weight for this is around 5,000. It all all varies, uh, you know, depending on when it comes off the line exactly the the full weight. But in, I believe the gross weight is around 67, 6,800. So you've got a good amount of weight that'll that'll work on the axles. The good thing about the weight distribution is that it only has about a 500 pound tongue weight. So as we all know, truck capacity, that payload capacity is what gets eaten up first. So well, that's all we got. This is our first camper, our first camper review, and um, I'm sure it's not, not as good as most of them on the internet. But hey, we got we got to start somewhere. And um, our next camper, which is probably going to be a really expensive Airstream, Cheryl has her way. We'll review that one too. <laughs>